Okay, welcome back to Crucial Farms. I'm in the greenhouse right now. Uh, it's about 90 degrees in here, but we will check the shaded bottle. And we're just under 80, so that's okay. It's doing great. Uh, let it air out for a few minutes, get some of this moisture out. We have lettuce sprouting. Uh, a bunch of different kinds of radishes are coming up. We've got some eggplants coming up and a lettuce, some kind of lettuce. And there are no shallots coming up yet either, but we do have some spinach. So we have spinach, eggplants, and some lettuce coming up. But the lettuce seeds that were a couple years old don't seem to be germinating at all. So I have ordered some. Uh, we ordered a thousand seeds just a little while ago. Hopefully they'll be here by the end of the week and we'll get those started. Uh, I went ahead and tilled here uh, just a couple days ago just to get a feel for how this is going to look because the cucumber area is done. Here's the new cucumber house. Uh, we will actually grow cucumbers this year. Uh, right here I got... Uh, just did a few rows to get ready for lettuce and spinach to come out and the eggplants, which they're just taking forever. But I started lettuce seeds here, which aren't coming up either yet. I think those seeds were just bad, I guess. But here is the cucumber house. A couple easy beds where the cucumbers will come up. We're going to add some good dirt and some soil and some compost and stuff to those. But they should grow up and over no problem. We're going to do some sunflowers down the middle. We'll see how that does. Either way, we're going to do cucumbers in the back and on the front and back of the front just to really load it up and you know once it gets if it gets too crowded we'll pull some plants and move them but on the back row here we're going to grow sunflowers and on the front of this row closer to the bricks on the front we're going to grow some other type of flower but it'll stay shorter so yeah anyway also we got four blueberry plants in they're over in the pointer garden one two three four fence is fixed Roses are going crazy. Little sprouts have little leaves. Oh yeah, you can see it right there. Boom. Yep, there. So soon, soon we'll get to see roses again, and everything will be getting green. And uh, we'll come back then. That's for sure. A lot more to do. Just thought I'd post a quick video to the YouTube. Oh, new uh, flower garden area as well. We can now walk through here or down here where the gate used to be. And this used to be the old fence. So right here was as far as you could go. And that was inside the farm. But now this is new fenced in. Coming all the way around here. So Jessica, my wife's tree, is now in here. And it won't be attacked or eaten by the deer at all. It'll bloom and look beautiful. And this entire area in here is sealed up with chicken wire as well. And this will become a whole new pollinator garden and garden at all. But it will bring in lots and lots of pollinators for the crops growing out here. Which this year we're going to have a lot more variety of things growing. But yeah, so we're looking good. The sign used to go here. I moved it here for now on the fence. But... Got a lot of trees down here I still need to clean up. If anybody needs some firewood, this isn't good stuff, but it'll burn. <laughs> Come on and get it. Anyway, well, we're all here, and we're going to eat some food. What's for dinner? I don't know. You don't know. It's Saturday, which means Chick-fil-A is still open. <laughs> anyway, here get back to it. Oh, oh, as I leave you. Check out this. Oh, let's take a screen. Let's take a little picture here. It's good lighting. Let's take a little photo. Maybe go 0.5 real quick, guys. Boom. Nice photo there. But come right down here before we go. And you can see the pion pion is coming up, which means it's spring. 